Hey y'all, it's Laura and welcome back to my go-to design series where we're going through each and every one of my go-to designs that I create foundations for my pages with. If you'd like to see the very first one explaining this whole series, I will link that at the very end of the video so that you can get caught up. There will be about 15 videos in this series and they'll be up every single Saturday for the next couple of months. So let's head over to the desk and see which go-to design we're doing today. For today's go-to design, we're calling it strips or stripes <laughs> because it depends on how you're using the bits and pieces. Either can use paper or mixed media. There's a variety of ways that you can do it and I'm going to be showing you multiple. So to get started, the basic concept of a strips or stripes background is to simply use scrap paper. Little slivers of paper are perfect for this. It's a great way to use up six by six paper pads, which is the case in this way. I've got a little six by six piece here and then just an extra piece across the back. These are not full large pieces. They're just little bits. I've also created a little strips cluster at the bottom on this one. And I really love how easy quick this is to use up scraps and it can be a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with this one. I've even created a strips around the outside background here. So these are six by six papers that have been cut into thin little strips to frame the strips layout. And I just think that's just a really quick, easy way to create a background. Here's another version of the strips or stripes. In this case, this is actually not different pieces of paper. This is from a piece of packaging. Do you know how on the bottom of a new collection of papers, they have that piece that shows you all of the papers that are inside of it? Well, in this case, I thought it was a beautiful paper pad. And so I pulled off the front and backed my photos behind it. I really love how this looks. I think it's a fun way to use up your packaging for the strips or stripes method. It also has a vertical stripes rather than horizontal. So of course they could go any direction that you like. I've included a set of strips at the bottom as well to carry on the strips or stripes design. In this case, I've included yet another of my go-to designs, picture in picture, and brought in a solid piece here to encapsulate my photos and the majority of my embellishing and journaling. And so this is a combination layout as well. Another layout design is to use the strips behind a shape. So in this case, I've cut out a large heart shape in this white cardstock, and then using a piece of pattern paper, uh, yeah, pattern paper that I've layered some strips onto the back of. So I didn't love this paper. And so I used the white side to layer up a whole bunch of scraps and strips behind the heart shape. Now these strips go all the way off the edges here behind that heart shape, but you can't see them because the only part that shows is the outline of the heart. Kept my embellishing very tight to my photos because this is quite a statement piece in the background and I don't want it to compete with my photos. <clears throat> Another idea is to use a row of strips. So in this case, I've gone a bit vertical with my horizontal strips. I've done a whole row <laughs> of strips here kind of combined together with these slip strips, whoo, strips here on the side. So these are some very thinly cut strips that kind of give the idea of stitching. You could definitely do stitching instead, but I am not friends with my sewing machine. So I chose to use tiny strips of paper to kind of keep them all cohesively together as one big unit. Now from there, I have built out to the side with my photos, my title and my journaling to fill the rest of the page, but you could certainly tighten it up, put these right directly on top of the strips and leave some white space as well. I love doing a good big border around a busier background like this. So that's a quick tip for you as well. In this lovely strips or stripes background, I've got some larger strips here as a base underneath of my photo in that sort of horizontal fashion. But I love the fact that I was able to use three different pattern papers to create this strip. And I really enjoy the curve of these beautiful embellishments that kind of softens up the very linear nature of this strips background. So this is a quick and easy one too. You got three strips. I had a little bit of trim just for fun, two photos, and then three clusters. 
Super fun, super easy, super cute. Here's another strips background, just like that first one where I've taken a bunch of long strips and just layered them up underneath. The difference with this one is these, I believe, are still six by six papers, but they kind of frame the layout or frame the photo rather, instead of my photo just sitting uh, inside of a long row of strips, these kind of frame my photo on the horizontal. So they pretty much stop at the edges of the photo and don't keep going. I really like this idea of creating a horizontal frame for a landscape photo. I've also got another little strips cluster down here at the bottom. Obviously that's something I really enjoy doing and these big gorgeous cork butterflies are just brilliant. So here's a mixed meteor -y version of the strips or stripes method. And I really like, this is more of a stripe than a strip because it's paint. And I've gone with a bit of a modified rainbow effect in the background here, starting at the top and kind of mimicking the border of the paper here. Not intentionally, I didn't actually notice this until after I put it on, but it's kind of neat the way that it does mimic the border. And so I've added in some acetate on top of the stripes so that you can see the stripes through them and their color coordinating with the stripes as well, which is a lot of fun. But again, the focus is of course on my photo and because I have so much color happening in the background and so many different colors happening in the background, I made my photo black and white so it would still pop off of these beautiful strips. I like the stripes when they go all the way through the background. However, I'm not a huge fan of them just popping out of one side. So you'll notice I made an effort to drag them out to the sides where possible. And in this case, I've even created almost a circle shape or maybe an oval shape with the edges of my stripes. So that's another idea as well. This stripes layout uses fringe. So now we're not using pattern paper. We're not using paint. We're using fringe. So this, you can use things like ribbon. You can things use things like other sorts of trim and uh, layer them back behind your photos. Now in this case, instead of coming to the edges or going past my photos, these bits of trim are actually underneath my photos. So they function a lot like the horizontal in giving it a bit of a base for my photos to sit on top of. But what I've actually done here is these are shorter pieces of trim and I've just cut it in half and they only end like here. They don't go all the way underneath of the photo. And so I'm getting full use and full view of these beautiful bits of trim. This is a Felicity Jane base layout. I can tell you that right now. A lot of things on here from Felicity Jane. I've also got a nice little scattering of hearts in the background down the back of these photos. And again, gone with the horizontal strips at the top and the bottom to reinforce that strips design. So this is my last example. And in this case, we've gone the whole way with our strips. And so instead of doing just small strips or doing just little bits of strip behind the photo, we're going big and bold with our strips and taking it the entire horizontal way of cross. Now this one was a scrap lift. I don't remember who did the original design, but I do have a video for it. So hopefully it'll be in my scrap lift Sunday playlist. And I wanted to make sure that these big bold strips kind of stood for themselves. I did a little bit of color matching with my embellishing to make sure that they didn't overwhelm my photos. And I have my photos down here on a vertical axis to offset the horizontal design of the background. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this and you will see me using larger, thicker strips that go all the way across in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this design. This one is a lot of fun. And it's one I reach too often, especially to use up scrap pieces of paper. That's it for this one, guys. Be sure to join us every single Saturday for another go-to design. We will have 15 total in this playlist. And if you have missed any, be sure to check there to see if you can catch up on the ones you have missed. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye, guys.